This is 5839 Willow Oak. They have a nice new driveway and retaining wall from an issue they had a year or two ago. Here's the street. Pretty nice down that way. Um, one little eyesore there on the corner when you're turning onto the street. It is very close to restaurants and shopping. Walking distance um, with this cute little side porch. Very nice. Looks like it's in okay condition. There's some faded spots here and there, but it's doable. I like the colors they've used in here, but they do have a lot hung up. Look at this nice big window here. Didn't realize I was zoomed in. And the storage there and the nice little spot to sit. Very cute. Room number one is painted in aqua color, so we will need to paint it. And I tried to look under this rug to see if there were any bad spots on the hardwood, and they've done the uh, tape for this rug to stay down. So there may be a little bit of cleanup needed under this decent sized closet. Full bathroom, their toilet sounds like it's running. Flooring is very nice, vanity's nice. It's fine. It's kind of a green color. Probably paint that. Go to the master. It has double sided closets here. Floors look like they're in good condition. We have a linen closet here. And then bedroom number three. Definitely needs painted. Floors look okay. It's pretty dark in here. They, they don't have very bright light and the blinds are closed. And all those computer screens, but little closet there. Decent sized room. So this story here goes to that side patio we looked at. Um, floor is nice here, looks pretty new. Um, really nice neutral color and there's only a couple things hung so we could maybe get away with not painting in here. Um, dining area. Kitchen, appliances all look good. Doesn't look like anything would need to be replaced. Sliding door comes out to composite deck. Really nice. It's the AC unit. Roof looks great. I think it was mentioned that they had some damage from a storm recently and just got the roof replaced. So it'll be a brand new roof. Got two big trees back here, but um, they're not close to the house. So that's nice. I will say this is White Oak Shopping Center in the background here. So you do have a lot of places close to go eat um, that you can walk to, but you do have that in the back there. And there is a multifamily right there on the corner. 
but this yard looks really nice. Completely fenced. They said they had some water come into the basement because of improper water management from the shopping center. Um, so the shopping center actually, let's see, let's go over here. Um, if it fixed in 2019. That's how they got the driveway and the wall out there. And then the roof was um, replaced in 2020, looks like. All right, we'll go down to the basement. When you first get down here, you can you can smell that they have a, an animal. It does have a pretty strong cat smell, but here is the hot water heater. The HVAC looks really nice and shiny. Um, glass block windows look really good. I don't see any major cracks down here. Um, one thing is, um, this could be the tile that contains asbestos. So removing this tile, you probably just want to put something over it and keep it intact. Um, here is laundry area and looks like no leaking happening here because I actually have a TV monitor there. We've got another little a toilet and shower there. There's the garage. Nice garage. Um, the electrical panel, I don't see um, a name on it, but it does look very similar to some Federal Pacific ones that we have had to get replaced. So that is a possibility. This door could use painted or replaced. The gas meter here. Um, and it, it looks like they had um, some kind of ceiling tiles or something up here that they have ripped up. They probably were planning on doing something else. Have to do a quick look in here. This is where the cat is. Their storage area. And it does smell pretty funky in there. But that's everything.